It's not morning. Good afternoon. How are ya? So we've had a fun year or two for CSS, right? Yeah, lots of good stuff. We've had grid. We've had grid. We can wrap around shapes now, even in Firefox, or we will in September. Um, And, yeah, you can wrap around shapes. Uh, CSS variables, that's my next thing to learn. How many of you are going to mess with that? So what in the Charles River do we need with Flexbox if we've got grid? Well, if you pay attention to one of my favorite people, Jen Simmons, who is the developer and designer advocate at Mozilla, they go together, and absolutely they do. I guess we should uh, back up a minute. Everybody know what Flexbox is? The Flexbox module in CSS. That's what it is, because here's what it's not. It is not a plugin, not an app, not a framework, in fact, I think Flexbox and Grid can liberate us from a lot of frameworks. It's part of CSS. Okay. Oh, that's Grid. I mean, in Flexbox, yeah, that's Grid. This is Flexbox. We use it in one dimension. So like in a phone view. Or, which that is. Um, oh yeah, grid is for two. Grid is for two dimensions. That's what we're doing here. You know, when you're laying out a grid, and you don't necessarily. In both of these, can also be used for asymmetry, which is what my degree really is in. You know, it's not in software. It's not in because there was no software in 1983 when I got out of design school. Grid is for one dimension. So it's great for a phone view. It's great for site inner. And then you, uh, uh, Flexbox is good in one dimension. For site inner, if you have no sidebars, or for content, if you have sidebars. But you're going in one dimension. Or one dimension. Flexbox is made for navigation, which is usually horizontal. In fact, you might say, Flexbox is on the menu. I looked that up later. That's not the beef commercial at all. The beef commercial is, it's what's for dinner. So that was beef. You've got beads. on your chair. And this is what they're for. So you start Flexbox by, by declaring it's, it's a display property. You know display block, display inline block. You also do display grid, you do display flex. And the next thing you want to declare is, which way are we going? So then you say flex flow row or flex flow column. And the good news is flex flow, flow row is the default. You actually don't have to include it. You just have to include column if you're going the other way, like in that phone view. So how do you control the children? Because you're always writing that on the parent element. You're pretty much done. You write everything, almost, in this case, in the parent element. Let's go back to that navigation. You, you, most of the time, you don't have to write anything up on the individual list items. You're going to write everything on the UF. Here's that code. 
I mean, obviously not without the styling. Display flex, flex flow row. Justify content goes across, it goes in the same direction we're going. Pick up your beads. Stretch them out this way. When you have flex flow row, this is your justify content. And there are a number of choices you have, like space between, space around, center, etc. I'm not going to go through those because if you're using DevTools, you're going to get that whole list of choices and some you didn't know you had, some I don't know you have, frankly. And you just pick one that seems to work. Justify content goes with the flow. Back to our phone view. Pick up your beads again. Because we go in vertical. Long tube of content, in the words of Chris Coyer. There's the code. Flex flow column. Justify content now is going vertically. And the align items are on the left. When you're dealing with a column of something and you want them all to line up, that's align items. So, here we're vertical, so justify content goes with the flow. The align items goes the other way. Back in our menu, align items is making them in the center. I'm pointing at the menu items. There, it's in the center vertical of the div that's holding that UL. You don't have to. This is vertical centering, by the way. If you ever have just one thing that you want to put vertically and horizontally in the middle of a box, A, I have a bunch of design dis dead design professors that want to slap you. Second of all, you do it with Flexbox. Aren't we glad they're dead? Like I said, my degree is in asymmetry. So justify content goes with the flow. Whether you've got a row or you've got a column, justify content goes with the flow. We'll go back through all our stuff. The other part is align items, right flow column, align items, lines them up on the left here in the column. Align items crosses the spine. I could not resist trying to get it to rhyme. Align crosses the spine. Justify content. Align items, Bessie, the elephant in the room. Okay, Bessie, what's up? Flexbox only works on direct children. This is a blessing and a curse. Here's a nice grid. You want to do something with Flexbox on it. But are you targeting its direct parent? If you do display flex and nothing else, this is what should happen. Yes, that's the direct child, whatever you just applied to display flex to. Here, let's see, it's the element containing those boxes. The direct parent? I guess it is. So it's a check. And also, if you know this, if this isn't happening, you know you've got to look down in those dev tools to find what that direct parent and direct child are to target them properly. So, thank you very much. That's who I am. The GitHub thing didn't show. There's supposed to be a little GitHub. I can. I may have given up questions. 
or was I so terrific and so funny and besides you got beats? Kevin. There were before I learned grid, and then I would do flex flow. Oh, are there ever any circumstances in which I would use flexbox in two dimensions? And there certainly would be if I de were, there were before I discovered grid. And if you are using uh, something, if you know you've got audience in a browser like IE 11, which doesn't quite do grid yet, or Opera then yes, and the way you get it to go in two dimensions is instead of just row or just column, you go row, wrap. Thanks, Kevin. Anybody else? I think I'll call that a K prompt. All right.